now we will add a backspace to our calculator let's define another text field t2 t2 will be new J text field we will do the same thing as we have done with uh, first text field t Now we will set the second text field right above position of the first one. Now we will add the text field T2 to our frame. We have to add more code here for T2. Just copy this line and paste here. We want to display the same digits as in the text field T. Now do the same thing for the 10 digits and the decimal point button. Now let's run this code. You can see the second display here. And you can also see the digits. Now carefully notice this line of code. We want to display the digits previously displayed on the text field T. And we also want to display a plus sign. If you click on the plus button, the text field T will be null and the text field T2 will contain the previous digit and a plus sign. Now do the same for the other symbols. If we click on the clear button, both of the text field will be cleared. Now the main task of the backspace begins. We have defined the backspace as BDEL. Now define two different strings to store the text or characters of the text field T.
Let's have a look at the loop of backspace i is here a loop control variable if the value of i is less than the length of a string s minus 1 then Now the text field T will display the string S, but it will delete the last character of the string. Now we will define another loop for the text field T2. Text field T2 will also display the string, but it will reduce the length by 1. Ok, now let's run this code. You can see both the text field are displaying the characters, but when we press the plus button, the text field T1 will be empty. Now let's run this code again. If you press delete, it will delete the digit and if you press equal, it will provide the right answer. You can see, yes, the answer is 20. Okay, now you can change the position of the text field T2. You can also hide the text field T2 if you don't want to make it visible. Let's run this code again. You can see the text field is hidden but it will is still working. Here you can see the answer. This answer is 40. That is it is still working. Now we will set the name of our J frame by simply changing the parameter of the J frame. Here you can see the code J frame my calculator. Let's finally run the code. You can see the finished work here. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel.